what it is, who minds. I am Daniel. That is why I'm here. And this is Made for Fishing. So today I'm going to pose a question to start off this episode. Have you guys ever went fishing and pulled a fish out of the water and or brought one home and cut it open to cook it? And inside of its belly, there's tiny little bait fish. Um, the other day I went out to the lake uh, with my wife and I caught a pretty big fish and hopefully you'll see that soon. Uh, I pulled a small mouth out of the water. I pulled a large mouth out of the water and they were just puking up little tiny bait fish. And so my fishery recently has had a hatch of baby crappie and surprisingly baby brown bullheads or yellow bullheads. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make some bait fish. And I've got uh, four different types of lures uh, or techniques that you're going to use these baits for. Uh, one's a drop shot. Obviously, that's one of my favorite ways to fish. Uh, the other one is an infamous A-rig or an Alabama rig where you can put these little baits, uh, these little tiny, I call them crapitos, um, on the back of an A-rig. Um, and then Ned rigging and then obviously a, a, ball, a ball head jig head. Uh, all of those techniques are, are typically, except for the A-Rig, are typically finesse fishing. A-Rig is total power fishing. Um, but all of these baits that I have here essentially are small. And um, I'm going to do something a little bit crazy today. Uh, I'm going to utilize floating plastic. And I'm going to laminate. So I'm going to do two different colors. But I'm going to infuse the lower belly color with salt to create neutral buoyancy. So one of the things that I found is that when I infuse my bait with salt, it sinks. And that's obvious, right? Salt is way heavier. It makes the plastic heavier and salt sinks. Um, so today I'm going to use floating plastic and I'm going to infuse only half of the bait with salt. And I'm going to use two different colors. Uh, I'm going to use Himalayan white, um, which is a uh, like a micro pearl, uh, just straight up white. You can see that. And that's going to be for the top half of the bait. And then on the bottom half of the bait, I'm going to use three different forms of silver with no pigment. So I'm going straight up silver flake. And I'm using a silver holographic micro flake. And I'm using... Uh, dead on plastics, uh, snow shine. So those three colors together are going to infuse on the bottom, and then I'm going to infuse a bunch of salt on that bottom on that bottom bait. Uh, I've got my dual laminator here, uh, my laminating plate, obviously, uh, and I've got my salt, my big giant bucket of of uh, Lure Works fine salt, and we're going to have some fun. All right, so now. We've got our plastic up to temperature. Both are up and over 350 degrees. So now we'll add our color. We'll start with the uh, with the bottom. I got this little fantastic measuring tool here. So we'll start with the silver holographic. And I always want to do my salt last. So I'll use plenty of that silver. And plenty of regular silver. And then we'll go just a scoop of the hematite white. It's Himalayan white, but I call it hematite. Today I'm using Dead On Plastics Craw Tube Blend, which is nice and hard, which is great for smaller baits. I know it's supposed to be for crawdads and, and larger, really big swim baits, um, but I really like it for crappie jigs uh, because it lets the it hardens up the bait, and essentially what happens is it stays on the hook better. And with this being floating bait. 
Um, oh yeah, look at that. It is beautiful. Look at that. Real translucent though. So we're going to use a little bit more of both of those. tricks with the uh, micro pearl stuff I'll tell you you really really anything that's powder form you really got to mix it a ton it's very different than than a than a liquid form that just kind of melds to the bait yeah and by the way I decided to change it up a little bit and put some snow shine in the hematite so we'll go just a smidge there. Give it a little pop. Not over the top, just a little bit. thing to think about is the orientation of the bait where the bottom of the bait is and where the top of the bait is so as you'll see after I pour pull these open I'm gonna orient the bottom of the bait to be on the right side of the injector this injector will be the bottom this will be the top obviously when you put this in this injector will go to the bottom of the bait and this injector will go to the top in theory, we'll find out here in just a minute. You really want these to be pretty equal in temperature. So that one, 332. This one, 334. So we're pretty close. Good to go. Let's do it. Doesn't take much for that one. All right, time for the big reveal. It's hotter than blazes outside. I had to turn the fan on and open the garage door. And... Okay, let's check it out. All right. Yeah. You guys can see that. Yeah, it's 
So the top half is white. The tail has all that silver in it. Beautiful. Let's check out the uh, drop shot. Those little guys are deadly. So the bottom. Can you see that? Oh, those are nice. Look like little tiny bait fish. And then here's my bigger. The bigger crapitos look like little tiny bait fish too. Yeah, they're so so tough too, man. You can put Oh, that's beautiful. That's just gonna murder them. Okay. As you guys can see, these baits turned out amazing. Um, I made a couple off, off camera. This is the M drop large. This is the M drop small. This is a punch craw, and they call him Punchy. And as you saw in the underwater bathtub video, the neutral buoyancy worked. I mean, essentially this one fell super slow. This one stood straight up in the air on the Ned rig, which is exactly what we wanted to do. So I'm happy about that. That's the whole point and the goal is to experiment, try new things. And then obviously we want to catch fish. There we go, finally. A little guy. A little smally. Oh, a crappie. Wow. Oh, that's a good crappie. <laughs> well. You didn't even fight, bro. What's up with that? Oh. Dang, I'm keeping you. That's a freaking toad. Look at you. He's a pretty boy. Ah, oh, paper mouth. Look at that. That's a good sized crappie. Look at that guy. Right? They sure are pretty. They're one of the prettiest fish ever. Look at the blues.